Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to the land of Endinus. Time to head into the snowfield, which is the next dungeon, obviously. Now, this dungeon is actually, if we're just talking like as far as story related stuff is concerned. Also, you can come up here for some reason, but yeah, there, there's nothing up there. Like, if we're talking purely about the story, you know, like the main story, this dungeon is literally like, I think, two screens. <laughs> But there's a large, um, optional portion of this dungeon, and we're going to be doing that. And the healing point is coming right up, by the way. I actually forgot my characters were all near death. <laughs> I should probably get to that, like, soon. Bowling. <laughs> that, that is probably one of the stranger names for an enemy that I've seen. You know, I'm still not entirely sure what Charging Spirit does, although I think it might allow enemies to, like, use, uh, unique moves or something. Like, I think if they use Charging Spirit, they might do, like, moves afterwards that they wouldn't otherwise. And yeah, the encounter rate is really, really high to compensate for the fact that the dungeon is really short. And as you can tell, there's our healing point right there. Because <laughs> it's marked with a yellow indicator, just like an inn or a clinic. Ah. I wanted to get the full, full hit on that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if he does Moonstrike, he stabs the sword pretty much right in the crotch, and that, that would hurt. That would hurt really bad. Okay, it's technically... Okay, the main portion is technically three screens. Counting the screen in here. Well, time for plot. Sounds like it. Dun, dun, dun! Hmm, you know something about that, Rose? I don't know, 
know, just kind of weird how Rose gets all silent every time this subject is brought up, it seems. Maybe she knows something. I mean, she's been alive for over 11,000 years. I'm sure she knows a lot more than other people. Velweb. You know, I'm always forgetting if Velweb is spelt with one L and two Bs, or uh, two Ls and one B. <laughs> it seems two Ls and one B is the correct way. You think Maru would be freezing in this weather? And yeah, there's nothing in here. You can rest at the fire, though. Like I said, it's a healing point. I believe we're already healed, though. Yes, we are. Cool. Now, if you want to go to the optional area, you uh, go down here. Ignore the sign. In other words, be stupid and jump down the cliff. Okay, now, I, I gotta say, I don't know how to do this. I, I have never gotten every single chest here, but we're gonna do it now. Now, I actually learned a secret from H.C. Bailey's run. Hopefully I'll do it right. I'll talk about that in a second. First, we got a little bit of a scene here. I was bad at classics. What does that mean? Like, seriously, what does that even mean? Zenibatos. I wonder what that place is. Oh, well, thanks for telling us, Rose. Nah, we have side questing to do. Now, I think if we press start, or is it select? No. Obviously not start and select at the same time. You don't want to do that. Oh no. But I think if you press one of the two... I think here? There! Okay, it has to be on this screen. Yes, if you press start, um, it automatically takes you out of that screen. <laughs> so you don't have to climb all the way back up. That's the main reason that I never bothered trying to get those items, all the items while sliding down, it's because, yeah, you have to, like, like, I was so sick and tired of having to climb all the way back up every time and fighting, like, probably two battles on the way up. But yeah, you can just press start and go back up to the top, so I'm gonna try to get these. I believe one of them is a repeat item. If I remember right. Yes. 
you're not getting me with that counter. Okay, I'm gonna try pressing it every time while sliding down. Ah, no, that didn't work. Ah, I, I don't know how you're even supposed to figure this out, honestly. <laughs> I really don't. I think it's just trial and error. Because when I look at it, I can't see any, like, rhyme or reason. Maybe one of them can be obtained by just not pressing anything on the way down. No, that sure didn't work. Oh, so close! You know, while I'm in the middle of all this fail, um, I might as well show off the transformations for Miranda, Maru, and Kongol. Because I don't think I've used their Dragoons at all up until this point, you know, mainly because I don't really use the characters at all. Yes, I'm pretty sure the actual uh, transformation animation for Miranda and Shauna is the same. So yeah, Moon Moonlight uh, is basically a 100% recovery and recovery. I think it means it also cures status effects. But yeah, Moonlight is basically a single healing spell. Even though I'm not really using these characters, I do at least want to like show off their Dragoons and what they can do. Not like all of their, you know, skills, obviously, because I'm not actually going to be getting all their skills because I don't really use the characters, but yeah. There are compilations of all um, additions and Dragoon magics and stuff anyway on YouTube, so yeah. Not really going to bother with that. But I will show off what I can. Ah yes, this enemy is called Mr. Bone. I wonder how I got that name. Probably because he's a skeleton. Get your mind out of the gutter. Go ahead and hit him with Freezing Ring. Freezing Ring!
You know, I just realized that the point where you jump off on the cliff actually makes a difference, too. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I'm looking this up. I've beaten this game, like, a dozen times throughout my life. I think I have a right to look up how to get some optional chests. <laughs> Otherwise, this is going to take absolutely forever. Oh look, it's the party that I used uh, throughout my first playthrough. <laughs> yeah, I I think I said it before, but yeah, I used uh, Dart, Albert, and Kongle throughout my first playthrough of this game. You can imagine that didn't end very well against certain bosses. <laughs> Just making this game way, way harder for myself than it needed to be. Well, I guess we'll have to wait till the next battle for Kongol's transformation. By the way, I mentioned that I wouldn't be showing off all the, you know, uh, you know, like all the dragoons, you know, that I'm like not using uh, special moves, but. Don't worry, you guys might still get to see them in this playthrough. Hint, hint. Anyway, for this one, uh... Let's see. Slide off to the left. Uh... Press the X button at the sec... Oh, I know, no, no, the character's left, yeah. Press the X button at the second and fourth action icons. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a chest down there. Well, for the last time up through here, got the dancer's ring. That that is that thing that everybody tries to get for Maru. <laughs> you know, she's already really fast. You put one of those on her. She's super fast. Anyway, yeah, on the last trip up through this, um, I'm gonna actually walk up the entire thing to get the chests. But until then, I'm skipping past it. Actually, actually, I could put the dancer's ring on Rose. Anyway, uh... First, third, and fourth action icons. Oh, I didn't hit that. I get confused because the sound I'm hearing is like about a second and a half behind the video, so I hear the little cleek, you know, noise of the, uh... <laughs> of, of the thing, and, like, I, I go by that, but, ugh. Like, I'm watching it, but I'm also, like, listening for the noise, and it just, it confuses me like that. Also, wow, this is a very unlucky enemy. You know what the heck, I might as well go special. Then you get to see Kongo's, like, uh, elemental background, too. This is actually a really weak attack. I'm not even sure if it'll be enough to kill... Well, actually, no, it should, because it's Earth Elemental, and this is a Wind Elemental enemy, so... Yeah. It looks pretty cool. I'll give it that. 
Well, there are the three Dragoons that I have not yet showed off, so... With that out of the way, let's get this last item and get on to the uh, optional stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and put the, uh... Actually, yeah, I don't know if I should do that. I mean... Oh yeah, she has the dancer's shoes. Wait, oh, I can't put the dancer's ring on Rose, can I? I guess not. Whatever, I'll go ahead and put it on Maru anyway. Yeah, I guess Rose gets to keep the attack badge. Okay, first, third, and fourth. Okay, Mash X, Mash X, Mash X! There we go. Magic Shield! That is the, uh... Oh, I thought I was stuck for a moment. Um, that is the magic equivalent to the material shield. It blocks magic attacks for three turns. It's magic barrier, basically. <laughs> okay, so with that out of the way, finally, let's move on to Fort McGrad. We got the Shirley Shrine music again. It's been a very, very long time since we've heard this. I see Darth's ball dodging skills haven't improved since Lohan. And that we will. Because there is stuff to be discovered here. And more battles to get through, of course. Midnight Terror. That's a item that attack item that causes fear, I believe.
If you say so, Rose. No, we're not leaving, though. We need to, uh, figure out the mystery behind this place. Okay, we'd better save. Go ahead and pop a healing breeze here. Alright. 